All right, what's up? Going to be talking about a summoner's grade tier list today for the pre-JR level. So to start off, this tier list won't be including any mythics and specials because this part of the game um, goes by pretty quickly and it's uncertain if you'll get access to them. It doesn't include evolutions as well. I feel that all evolutions are pretty useless to go for in this part of the game. Um, this tier list also doesn't really talk about who you should level. It talks about who you should play. So don't look at this tier list um, and use it to decide who you should spend your gold on. Rather, use it to decide who you should um, play in your setups depending on the role that they fulfill so to start off um in s tier you have double totems because you're going to be putting your carry in between double totems for pretty much all of the early game uh as your main sort of way to create a carry and the best carry to use this on is going to be kevin so he's also going to be in s tier and a tier i'd say you have the second best carry who's going to be in furnace um doesn't do as much damage as kevin he's not as gold effective but he has solid aoe which makes up for that um and of course you also have four solid uh, stunners right here frostbite and ash both can stun for four seconds with decent aoe archangels have very solid aoe um, and they also stun for very solid durations although i don't really know the specifics next up in b tier you have teddy and chili these guys are both solid three second stunners teddy's a little bit better because he has more consistent aoe um but chili probably stuns for a little bit more longer just because of the freeze animation you have felina as well uh again i wouldn't really recommend upgrading felina but you could put her in the back row um and there's really not reason there's really no reason not to do that just because uh felina can do solid ship damage from the back row and the other monsters in the back row won't really be doing much anyways considering that if enemies do make it past uh your mid row they'll get to the chest anyways in most situations as you want to be focusing all your gold on your front row to make sure that that doesn't happen uh next up you got stacky solid baseline carry um he's just the carry you start out with if you don't have access to better stuff like infernus or kevin um puffy is in a sort of similar situation as that as stacky um, maybe a little bit better I'd say because Puffy does have better AoE um, but it's not that significant of a difference where Puffy would end up on the same tier as Infernus he's just a little bit more better than uh, Daki in this tier here as a main DPS carry all right so for C tier and D tier uh, all of these monsters are sort of going to be filler monsters um, not too ideal to play them or spend gold on them as is with you know stuns and utility and all that stuff but in C tier you just have solid uh, CC monsters that can provide stuns or slows um these guys are all inferior to the better stunners in the higher tiers but they provide solid stuns or solid slows uh, which can be used to delay monsters delay enemies from being able to get past your defenses um which means that they do provide some sort of decent use um even though some of them are not the best at it right uh next up in d tier you got monsters that are pretty much useless and pretty much just going to be used as a uh, backline filler monsters um, all of these monsters either provide useless CC like an armor break such as Grimy and Spiky um, or they have very uh, poor interactions with the low early game health something like Devin um, you know 50% or even like 80% even if you do somehow manage to level him a lot 80% of the uh, of bosses HP in the pre JR levels you can just one shot them anyways um, by upgrading a carry because the HP values are so low. Um, and of course you also just have bad dps options um that are outclassed by stacky and the monsters better than stacky stuff like jack stuff like mr flamey stuff like slimy stuff like mocha all these monsters are going to be just really poor options to use in general and they're pretty much just going to be utilized in the back row and of course archangel Molik does pretty poor damage overall and he requires a lot of gold to upgrade that's pretty much going to be it for this early game tier list i've been getting a lot of requests for it on stream and in community polls um again c tier monsters are uh, like filler stun monsters d tier monsters are filler back row monsters uh, everything b tier and above uh, could be pretty solid to play in your setups you just have to understand their uses right uh, that's gonna be it for this video like subscribe and uh yeah see ya